Hey, what is going on guys? Father Gamer here and welcome back to some more Blade and Sorcery. Today we're going to be looking at 5 spell mods that you absolutely must try. So make sure you're comfortable because we're about to head over to the arena and dive into these mods. Okay, so the first mod we're checking out today is the Time Lord Quicksilver and Infinite Instant Slow Motion mod for U10. So this mod will give you the ability to go into an alternate form of slow motion called Quicksilver, where time slows down but we can move freely, as I'm demonstrating with this pot. But I can imagine that we're going to have a lot of fun with the NPCs in this mode, so uh, how about we spawn some in now and go give it a try? Okay, so let's try this out. You just have to hold any of the triggers and press the slow motion button. And now we're in the mode. Oh! <laughs> okay, that worked really well. So we have this like lightning around our wrist. That kind of represents that we're in quick sort of slow motion. And I believe it trails behind us as well, but I can't really show you that. <laughs> we, we seem to be quite strong as well. So from their point of view in this mode, we must look like that we're moving around like the Flash and just devastating people. <laughs> look, we just have to touch them and they get launched. Say so we just move all the way around her and we just give her a throw. <laughs> so now I'm just going to try something which would normally be a little bit silly in normal slow motion and I'm going to take these extremely heavy weapons and in quicksilver slow motion you can just whip them around and they uh they do maximum damage we're just annihilating these guys the force and speed that we're hitting this dude is probably unimaginable right now in fact I'll just show you the difference in normal slow motion trying to swing these weapons around isn't going to work in fact it actually looks quite pathetic but in Quicksilver slow motion, we're right back to destroying people. <laughs> Unlucky for that guy. Oh, that was awesome. Okay. She's trying to creep up on me here. And she's going to get her neck broke. However, there is one little glitch I seem to have noticed. I'll just <laughs> take her to next. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, um, you can't seem to jump. For some reason, I can't seem to be able to jump while I'm in this mode. And I don't know why I've had to bug with the mod or another conflict in mod. Oh my gosh, it's got destroyed. But yeah, who needs to jump? You don't need to jump. You can move around that quick and you can send these guys flying. And it's really a lot of fun. This mod is a 10 out of 10 in my book. I highly rate it. Why do we go take a look at the next one? So this next mod is definitely going to appeal to all the fire lovers out there. The Flaming Sun is a, a little bit different than usual. It's going to change your gameplay in a quite a significant way. Let's take a look. Behold the Flaming Sun. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It's a big Flaming Sun and it's doing exactly what it's meant to do. It's destroying everybody. <laughs> it's, in fact, it's a little bit more powerful than I anticipated. I don't seem to really have anybody to fight. Get you. And no, he's gone as well. Oh my god. It's destroying everyone. Does it even stop? Oh wow, okay. It seems to have taken a little break for a second. And they're like, quickly, now is our chance to take him. Yeah, whatever. You're gonna get taken out by my inferno storm. <laughs> I'm having a few frame drops, which is to be expected, I guess. Oh, he just got absolutely destroyed. Is she going to make it? Oh! Imagine making it just to be insulted like that. <laughs> so this mod is a lot of fun. But there is a downside to it, and that's that it's not a spell. You can't just turn it on and off when you want to be able to. And you should be able to, you know. It should be a fireball merge spell or something that you can do. But at the moment, it just... It's just, it's just here. It just exists in all of the default maps. And far as I can tell, it just carries on destroying people whenever it feels like. And yeah, that's all there really is to this mod. It, it should be a spell. I hope it gets turned into one. But for now, I think we should go take a look at the next one. So the next mod that we're going to be taking a look at today is the minigun for U10. Now there's not much one can say about this mod. So how about I just show you instead? So of course this works as you would expect <laughs> by destroying people. Just as a minigun should, you know. 
And I was quite surprised because I expected this to cause quite a bit of lag. But even in slow motion, it's it's doing a really good job and it's running really quite smoothly. And we can even use this as a melee weapon as well. It's got all the right colliders. <laughs> Just devastating him. And those of you that have been watching my Blade and Saucer videos for a while will know that I'm not really a big fan of guns in the game. But I can definitely see the appeal behind this one. You just need to hold down the A button and then press the trigger and it will fire. <laughs> she just got minced. Oh, it looks really good with the blood mods. <laughs> that was so brutal. And it works just as well from a long range. Okay, how about we take a look at the next mod. Okay, so with this next mod, we're going to be bringing out our inner caveman with the stone weapon pack. Which of course has been themed from the stone age. I mean just look at this thing here. You could crack some heads open with this. Wow. Wow. Let's go get some real heads to try this out on. Okay so I have my stone sword and my stone axe. I just want to see how these handle. And so far so good. Let's just see how that axe handles a second. Let's give her a stab and then chop. <laughs> Straight through her head. It even feels more brutal as well for some reason. Maybe it's because they're made out of stone. It just seems more savage. And you jump over you and stab straight in the back. This must be extremely painful to have a sword this blunt and thick going straight through you like this. <laughs> that was almost like slow motion. I believe the Quicksilver Time Lord mod is having a little bit of effect on the gameplay right now even though I'm not in that mode. I've noticed some slight differences ever since I installed that mod. So uh, if it looks like they're being a little bit slow it's probably because of that. Because my frame rate seems fine. Okay let's give this spear a go. Poke! <laughs> Stabby! Stab stab stab! I'm going to slash her face. Yeah, do you know, I'm actually not doing a great job with this spear right now. I'm making it look quite bad. But then the spear's never really been my weapon of choice. We'll get you. Come here a minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not doing a great job with this spear trying to stab you. Just die. There we go. Whew. Straight through the neck. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's give this a go. What? <laughs> He's clean out. Ooh, three hits and she's dead. Bang. If you get a good swing on it, it just takes them out in one hit, caveman style. Oh, I just missed you. Okay, ready for it. Huh, block. Bush. Can we do it? Bam. <laughs> she just bashed her head straight into the wall. That had to have hurt. And whack. And double whack. School crush. Hey, get off me. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, this isn't great one handed, but with two hands, <laughs> it just destroys them. Oh, that's awesome. And she's out for the count. Boom. Okay, now I think we should move on to the next mod. Ooh. <laughs> just kidding, it's me. But I would like to introduce to you the Skeleton NPC mod for U10. This allows you to spawn either waves of NPC skeletons to fight, or just one or two. I think we should try this now, what do you think? I agree, FG. <laughs> cool, well let's go do that. Okay, now I should mention that you will need the custom avatar framework to spawn these guys. But I thought I'd just quickly show you what they look like and uh, how they perform which so far I'm kicking their butt now you can see that they do sometimes take a little while to switch over to the right skin but I wouldn't worry about it just you know try not to look look away <laughs> oh we're just wrecking these guys and there's a little bit of a funny walk there but you know little bugs are to be expected now and then these things will get ironed out over time come on then dude you want a piece of this? Now you can spawn these in either one or two at a time in waves and uh, you can either have normal skeletons or you can have these uh, bloody chaps like I have here. Let's see if I can hit them. Nope. Total failure. Well, I think that about wraps it up for the skeletons guys. We're going to leave it here. 
that's going to be it for today guys but if you've enjoyed the mods you've seen you can find links from down in the video description below also if you enjoyed this video you can let me know by smashing that thumbs up button and of course if you haven't already subscribing for more i'm father gamer and i will see you next time Thank you.